Hey guys, just a quick note. I wanted to let you know if you don't already, Pretty Serious is closing down um, until the end of the year to find a new nail polish manufacturer, take some time off, develop some new stuff. So if you didn't already know, they are having a clearance sale starting this Friday, July 20th on their website, which I believe is just prettyserious.com. The sale is 30 to 50% off and they have amazing nail polishes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a throwback review of a Pretty Serious collection. We're going to be talking about the Pretty Serious Rainy Days collection. And as you can see, there are some colors that are very similar in there, but not the same. So if you're a blue-gray purple lover, there is a good chance that you will like this collection. So the Rainy Days collection came out like, was it just this last fall? Now I can't remember if this came out this last fall or the one before. It might have just been this last fall. I was thinking it had been out longer than that. Anyway, let's talk about these polishes. Here's a look at the whole Rainy Days collection side by side. So I did not originally buy this collection as one entire piece. I bought my favorites from it, and then when they were having a clearance sale, I picked up the other ones. So this gray in the collection is Overcast. It is not one that I originally picked up. This gray is not... It's not just a regular gray. There's something almost dirty looking about it. Not in a bad way by any means, but it's just got a touch of something else in here. Maybe it's got a touch of brown and that's why it looks that way to me. But I am a gray lover and I love the way Overcast looks. So you're gonna see two coats of Overcast. And the next one is Pluviophile, which I believe is somebody who loves the rain. I think that's what that means. Um, this is also a grayish color. This one has a touch of purple. And so it's kind of a purpley nude color in my opinion. I absolutely adore this color. Great formula, no running at all. You're gonna see two coats of Pluviophile. These next two are incredibly similar in color, so we're gonna talk about the lighter one first. This is Misty, and this is a greenish turquoise color. It does definitely have a greenish tint in there, though. This is the lighter of the two, so it's got a little bit more of a white base, I would say. This is the lighter of the two, but still the formula was great. I didn't have any running or pooling, and even though this is a lighter color, still two coats. So you're going to see two coats of Misty. And then the One Step Darker Sister is Cloud Burst. So I wouldn't really say that the color changes any, it just gets a little more intense. So this one still is kind of a greenish. It still has that same great formula. It's still opaque in two coats for me, and I love this. So you're going to see two coats of Cloud Burst. And then the darkest and possibly brightest in the collection is Precipitation. This is this tealy blue color. It almost looks jelly when you put the first coat on your nails. But it builds up 100% opaque in two coats. But it has a little bit still of the squishy look to it, so I love that. So you're going to see two coats of Precipitation. And this last one is Petrichor. And if I remember right, that is the smell of the rain. This one is kind of a steely blue color. It's that blue, but it's definitely grayed out. This is 100% the type of color I like. Just like I was talking about for Pluviophile. Um, I love grayed out colors, so this one is an absolute win for me. Again, this was completely opaque in two coats. Definitely a color that I would love to wear. So you're going to see two coats of Petrichor. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you probably knew that I was going to love this collection as soon as I started talking about it. Because green, blue, and purple are my favorite colors. So this one was a win right from the very start for me. Um, like I said, I did not originally buy Overcast because I thought that it was just a plain gray and that maybe it wasn't something that I was going to love. But there is something about this. I just don't know, but it makes it unique. 
and different enough that I am so glad that I bought this one on clearance. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!